Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi, young mathematicians. This is Mr. Woods Teaches. Today, we're going to be talking about some pre-algebra stuff. You're going, what's pre-algebra? Well, it's similar to what you've been doing in fractions, but we're going to use like letters and stuff in there. Don't be afraid. We're going to add some numbers in there to make it clear. But I saw this video on YouTube. Yes, I watch other videos on YouTube because I want to learn. I want to see what other people are doing. And I was a little confused why this one videographer decided not to show what the fraction part was to this algebraic function and to not uh, say, hey, this is a non-example. We want to say most people make mistakes. I'm going, well, wait a minute. Let's back up. People make mistakes because they don't understand what is not a good example and what is a good example on how to solve or work a problem. Let's take a look. Let's jump into this fraction. Let's take a look at this. We have x plus y over x. So our numerator is x plus y and our denominator is x. This other video I saw, uh, the instructor was saying, hey, a lot of people make mistakes and they say, oh, wait a minute, there's x here and x here. I can cross the cancel those out and that equals y. Well, that's not quite correct. Let's go back and take a look at this. You can cancel out only if and only you have x. This little dot's going to be times y over x. That is when you're able to cancel these out. Then that would be equal to y. We're not doing that today. We're working with this x plus y over x. Now, what does this look like? Well, this, this also equals to x over x plus y over x. You should be able to do this here. If you're in upper elementary, fourth or fifth grade, middle schoolers should know this as well is that when you have a common denominator, that is going to, you don't add up the denominators, you add up the numerators. So let's take a look at it in a different way. Instead of x plus y, let's look at three plus two over three. Again, you cannot cancel those out because this is a plus symbol here. We're adding the numerator and not multiplying the numerator. So three plus two, that is also equal to three over three plus two over three. Now, depending on if you want to have a mixed number or uh, an improper fraction, it's good to be able to understand that you can do this. Because if it was a mixed number, you're going to say three plus or three over three, that is equal to one and then in two thirds. However, if we're solving it the other way where it's three plus two over three, and you want to have an improper fraction, you add the numerator. 5 over 3. If you needed it, it, this makes it simpler for you, and then make that into uh, a mixed number. You can also say that that is also equal to, because there's take that 3 and make it minus that 3 there. So it's going to be 3 over 3 is 1, and then you're going to have 2 over at the top and still have that 3, 1 and 2 thirds. It's the same number. Just remember, when you're working with fractions, make it easy for yourself. Look at, hey, is this three times two, or is it three plus two? Watch what your operators are. When you watch what the operators are, it makes things much easier for you. And it doesn't matter how these numbers are made up. You know, you can have it all letters, X plus Y over Y. You can have A plus B over A. And let's mix it up a little bit. We can have it all totally different. Let's take a look at something else. We can have A plus B over C, and again, that is still the same as, that is equal to A over C plus B over C. Now let's plug in some numbers. Let's try to make it easy for us. So if we have something where you have A is equal to three, B is equal to six, and C is equal to nine, and you plug all that in, we have three plus six divided by nine, equals to, and you just add the top, 9 over 9. Let's make that into a number. Here we go, 9 over 9. 9 ninths 
is equal to one. Don't get confused with letters. Don't mix them up with numbers. Watch your operators and you're gonna be fine. I know you can do it. Just remember that being a mathematician is not being perfect. It's doing the practice and getting things done. Thank you for watching Mr. Woods Teaches. And remember, like, share, and subscribe to Mr. Woods Teaches. And to be a mathematician, all you have to be is a person that does math.